Hey everybody and welcome back to my channel. I'm Lisa Phillips and I'm the content creator on Classic Style by Lisa and I'm also the founder of Ella Lisa Cosmetics. I'll be linking all my social media below and I hope that you'll follow me on Instagram. I wanted to say again that the reason that I started this channel was to help women feel amazing uh, whether they're in their 40s, 50s and beyond and I feel like if you feel amazing it will radiate confidence and positivity in every area of your life so if you haven't subscribed I hope that you'll subscribe and I thank you again for joining me today so let's just get right into today's topic alrighty we're going to talk about the, the things that I feel like are some style hacks for your wardrobe and I'm going to insert photos and I'll probably do in voiceovers as we go along. Now, uh, the first one is uh, to wear a belt. It doesn't mean, it doesn't mean that it needs to be a designer belt. If you like a designer belt, that's great. There's lots of options out here. Um, you'll see me in several of the pictures that I've got um, of showing a Gucci belt. Um, I know that the initial investment in a Gucci belt is, um, is kind of pricey, but um, if you don't want to go that route um, and you don't want to buy new, there are lots of consignment stores out here. Um, you can try the Real Real. Um, you can even maybe look up some in your local area because sometimes the consignment stores in your areas have these belts. Um, I had a video on, in, on Instagram that I took where I took my Gucci belts um, to a local shop and I had them fix the belts so that I could interchange my buckles because I've got a few Gucci belts. Um, you'll also see in the video that I have a new Michael Kors belt. So um, there's all price points that you can, can get a nice designer belt because I really think a belt um, can just elevate an outfit and just kind of make it look more, a little more polished, a little more classic. That's what I like. So definitely invest in wearing a belt. Just wear a, wear a really nice belt. Next up is going to be um, a blazer. Change your, change your buttons out on your blazer. The blazers that you like, you can do any color. Um, I have a black one that I really like. Um, I'm in search of a, a really good uh, camel color one, but um, I've interchanged the, the buttons on my blazer. Sometimes I do gold, sometimes I do silver. It's just according to what um, I want to do. Uh, right now, I'm doing a really, like an antique gold, which really looks nice with, um, and it kind of, you can either wear silver or gold with it. So I, I like those buttons. I'm sure I've got everything linked that I possibly can find a link for in my Amazon store. So definitely you can change out your buttons and you can take a blazer that you have had for a very long time and change out the buttons and it just feels new again. So it's kind of like giving uh, new life to maybe an older piece that you may not have shown any love to for a while. So next up is, um, uh, invest in a really good quality bag. Um, now, when I say quality bag, I'm not talking about the price of a bag. Um, that would be completely up to you, your budget, um, what you want to spend. Uh, like I said, there's lots of ways that you can uh, find um, a designer bag, uh, watch your sales. Um, Saks has really good sales on from time to time. Um, Michael Kors has really good sales on from time to time. Um, and you can even, like I said, check the consignment stores because um, even private sellers, I've bought several things from private sellers, not on eBay, but like when you go to a consignment shop, sometimes there are people there that are um, have their things on consignment there. My kitty's in here with me. And um, they, they bring them in there and then they'll have photos of it and you may can really pick up a, a really nice bag for a really good price. Um, I bought my Chanel bag that way. 
um, it was a solid auction and I, I picked it up and got a, an amazing buy on it. It wasn't brand new. Um, I think it was about a 2013 or 14 um, style, which is fine with me. I, I was, it looks brand new to me and I love it and I'm going to really enjoy that bag, even though it might not have been brand new. Definitely, there's ways to find you a really good quality bag. And you need to find one that uh, will go with lots of things. You could pick a neutral color. You could pick black. You could pick um, a off-white, um, maybe a tan. So you need to pick the one that you like the best, that you feel like coordinates with your wardrobe the best. So um, the fourth tip, I believe I've sh shared, wear a belt, um, change your buttons. Um, and invest in a good quality bag and um, definitely the fourth tip is here definitely if you are um, in doubt of what to wear to any out any any outing if you are just puzzled thinking I do not know what to wear definitely go monochrome when I mean what I say, what I mean by that is wear all black or all white. I know that all white is a little hard to pull off from time to time because of the variances in the white, but most people love to go to wear all black. I'll insert photo here. Um, I have a summer look, which is uh, one of a maxi dress and some really nice sandals all black that's the summer look and then I've got a winter look and, uh, and you'll see where it's all black and I just love wearing those outfits I, they feel um, they feel like they're effortlessly chic they feel um, elegant they feel classy and that's what I really enjoy I love those looks because I just don't think you can just go wrong with that and the last one um, may not be for you, but go always choose solids over print. Because um, I feel like with a solid, um, it can just, it can be mix and matched with the different things in your wardrobe. You can, you can wear, you know, white with black, black with white. You can wear navy with white. You can wear navy with gray, um, where sometimes a print can limit you. It can, um, you know, it may only have three or four colors in it. And if you do like a print, I like a print from time to time, but it needs to be a real small print, like um, like the cheetah uh, uh, blouse, excuse me, in the last video. I prefer a small print over a large print. because I feel like um, it just looks um, a little more elevated, a little more chic. So if you do choose a print, choose one that's not real busy, and I think that you will um, enjoy wearing that more if you wanna wear a print. But um, that's completely up to you. It's, you know, that's your choice. So I hope you enjoyed this video today, and um, thank you so much for stopping by and watching today, and I hope these help you, and if, Please give me a thumbs up if you like this video and uh, give me a comment. Let me know if you like this kind of video and I hope you guys have a great day and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.